When I first started learning about Masters of the Universe through watching reviews of the Classics toy line, one of the characters that stood out to me the most was the one called Wondar. There was just something about the look that was more simple than the rest of the characters that made him very appealing to me. So when the Origins line began, I was really hoping that by some chance he could manage to get into it. And here he is in my collection at last. So how good is he? Well, he's a pretty good standard figure from this line, and the key word here is standard. Which is a problem because Mattel definitely did not release him as one. Instead, they released him as one of the supposedly special, limited-run Mattel Creations exclusive figures. And there really is nothing special about him. As is the norm for this character, he is just a brown-haired He-Man with black Zodak armor. He even still has the back of the bicep looking like a giant pinky toe. He has these brown weapons, which is supposed to be a callback to the pack of weapons that came with the Savage He-Man figure that became the Wonder character over time. But those weapons were red, and these are brown. Also, his laser pistol should be black to go with his black armor, throwing back to the old weapons packs that were a thing for old 80s toy lines. Yet, it's also brown, because of what I assume has to be gang molding with the other weapons. I wouldn't have had as much of a problem with this coloring error if we weren't pretending this was a premium figure. Also, he doesn't have a power sword. He's one of the canon heroes of the sword in the lore, yet it's been completely omitted from this figure. Was it because his version of the sword had two colors? Because they could have just given him a black one like Anti-He-Man. Sure, we could give him Anti-He-Man sword. We could even give him the whole armor and have some kind of dark He-Man. But if this is a premium toy, then why should I have to do that? You could also give Zodak the black armor like it was meant for in the old weapons packs. And it looks nice on him. Would look better if he had a black gun to match, but we can't have that, can we? The design is still as appealing to me as it was the first time I saw it. But I can't stand the fact that this figure was treated like something special, when it's just as normal as any other figure in the line. I know I'm not the only person annoyed by this, because enough people complained that Mattel did a second run of Wondar that was made to order instead of a limited, like the first one was. In fact, are any of these Mattel Creations exclusives special? Because this is the third one of these I bothered to get, and I don't understand this model of limiting the production run. I get that deep cut characters aren't always the safest bet, but if you think these guys aren't going to sell well, why make them at all, limited run or not? I think these toys should be more like the Transformers Generation Selects, where we get the obscure stuff at a normal run size and normal price instead of a $4 markup, but only at various online retailers. Given how long the Classics toys lasted online, I'm sure that option would have been fine. Heck. In the case of Space Sumo over there, he did get a normal run for this free pack over here. Really, the only thing special about these special figures is the art on the packaging. And you know the point of toy packaging is? He's not a bad figure, and if he wasn't sold as something he's not, I probably wouldn't be making this video. I'm still annoyed by the brown gun, but I can live with that. I'm glad to have him, I just see some flaws that I just felt like I needed to talk about. See you guys around.